So I've received many emails over the past few days from viewers of my YouTube channel asking me if they should upgrade to Vienna Ensemble Pro 7 while it's still on sale. Hey everyone, it's Steve Steele. I'm planning on making a top 10 new features of VN Ensemble Pro 7 and how to use them video very soon, but I wanted to ask the question, should I upgrade to VN Ensemble Pro 7 while it's still on sale? Yes. Yes, you should. It is extraordinary. So let's talk about it. I'm going to break down the new features into five categories. Interface improvements and improved resource management. Improved plugin management and connection and network. VST3 update and AU version 3 support. A new remote control app for the iPad. Added effects plugins and Epic Orchestra 2.0. Okay, I think it's time to take a look. So the first is the interface improvements. We're going to start with the improved color selection. So if you didn't notice already, I've got some really bright and brilliant colors that I've used. And this is great. And I'm going to show you how this has changed since version 6. So in version 6, they went from the system palette to their own built-in palette. So now you have access to the system color picker, which literally gives you millions of colors. So that is great. Thank you, VSL, for bringing that back. Next is switch the list orientation so that they stack vertically, which gives you much more space to list tabs. All right, and in the tabs themselves, we have three new items. So we have the CPU usage percentage showing, and this number is the same as this number down here. We also have MIDI and audio activity. So when there's MIDI incoming, outgoing, and audio, you'll see these light up. So you get some feedback, which is great. Automation mapping is now a window that is dockable. I use automation mapping in all my templates a lot, so I'm really glad to see that. So for the improved resource management, let's take a look at a couple of items. I use these folders a lot, as you can see. I can use them as a way to group channels together and I can create groups with the folder and use that as a VCA fader. Regardless though, you can now disable folders. And when you disable a folder, it will disable all the instruments in that folder. Sort of a macro way of disabling. And it's automatable. Your DAW, Touch OSC, Lemur, and a bunch of other things. So that's great. And this is a feature I've been wanting a long time. So let's say I'm setting up a template and I want to use this several times again in the template. Edit. I'm going to copy. Now I'm not going to paste, but I'll show you that now the insert channel set is available. So that will paste into the template. Okay, let's take a look at the preferences menu and plugins. 
So you can now deactivate plugins. So not everything loads. That was definitely a, a much needed feature. We also have the favorites manager. And this is great because this is accessible several ways. One, we can populate the favorites manager automatically. So this command right here, fill with most used until. All right, we're going to see more about this in just a moment, okay? Let me show you my instruments list. So there's nothing in here. So this is going to be a good one to look at in just a second. Uh, you can also manually add favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to choose an audio unit instrument and Piano Tech 5, and there it gets added. If there is a heart next to the instrument's name, it means you've manually added it. You can also clear this list. All right. So now if we go to either the inserts for instruments or one of the effects inserts, we'll go here. And here are our favorites. But first on the list, we have a search feature. So if I'm looking for a particular plugin, just type it in, and there we go. All right, next, the favorites. So this was the favorite that was added. If this is a favorite plugin of mine, I just click this heart, and it gets added to favorites. As far as the VST and audio units plugins go, you need to go in and find the plugin, then you'll get the heart. You can also remove them here. So if I change my mind and want to remove these, you just click there and it goes away. All right, now I'm just going to add some plugins. I'll go ahead and add this plugin to the channel. And you can see it's been added here, times used. This is the first time it's been used. Okay. Connection and network. I'm just going to say one thing about this. One thing VSL has done with some of the upgrades in the Vienna Ensemble Pro 7 engine is the way that version 7 saves when you are coupled to your DAW is the information in Vienna Ensemble Pro 7 gets compressed before it is shot over the network to your DAW, and then it's decompressed and saved in the project, thus saving times over LANs. All right, now this is a great one for logic users. In version 6, digital performer users got an MAS version. MAS is like audio units for digital performer. It's their plug-in format, but it's also the engine format for digital performer. And what that allowed is for channels that were going to hold instruments to be able to support up to 48 MIDI ports. I have 32 here, but I can go up to 48. And for each port, I have up to 16 MIDI channels. And what that means is, in one instance, I can have 48 times 16, which is 738 MIDI channels per instance. This is huge for Logic users, as it was for Digital Performer users last time around. It was a complete game changer for DP users, so congrats to Logic users. You're gonna love this feature. Now, it's currently still in beta, but it will be released in an upcoming update. Okay, next upgrade. 
This is the server part of a new remote control application for Vienna Ensemble Pro 7 that allows you to build and alter templates on servers that maybe you can't see via screen sharing. So if you're not screen sharing to those, or even if you are, you can use your iPad to build and edit your template. And I'm showing some images on the screen right now. As you can see, um, you can create new channels, put effects in them, name them, basically everything you can do in the regular interface you can do through this iPad app. This is great, especially if you have several servers. Okay, last but certainly not least, in fact, this is the reason I made this video, because I wanted to stress this. This last one that I'm gonna talk about is going to pay for itself. That's how important this is. All right, so VSL has included two things with Vienna Ensemble Pro 7 for free. One is, Epic Orchestra, which they've included before, but up until now it's been about a seven gig library. For version seven, they have bumped it up to 93 gigabytes. 93 gigabytes from seven-ish. That is amazing. And not only that, it comes in the new Synchron engine, which I'm showing a picture of this, is a beautiful sample playback engine. So if you don't know what I mean by a sample playback engine, it's the equivalent to Contact or the Play engine or the UVI engine for the VSL sample libraries. And if you're new to orchestration, you're going to get a really nice orchestra to work with out of the box. This is the one that I'm most excited about. In fact, I think a while ago, I sent a request to VSL to include this in VN Ensemble Pro. I'm not taking credit for it, but uh, I'd like to think that they included it for me. Thanks, Paul. Okay, I doubt they did. Okay, so uh, it, it, here it is. So Vienna Suite Pro, in my opinion, especially for orchestral and film instruments, this suite of plugins is one of the best on the market for several reasons. So let's take a look. I'm going to add an equalizer. First, we can resize the interface. We can group plugins. In the EQ, you can have a piano. I'm going to demonstrate this feature in a minute. I'm sure most of you know what this is, but uh, I love EQs that have pianos in them. Knowing the frequencies of a given fundamental, the harmonic series of one thing, that's nice, of course. But Seeing it on piano is really helpful. These are the best presets I've ever seen in a plug-in suite. These presets are built generally for the VSL sample libraries, but they're great starting points if you're trying to learn EQ and compression and other things regarding how to apply plugins to orchestral instruments. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a viola resonance menu. Here's the piano. There's a real-time analyzer built in. So when a signal comes through, you'll see a real-time analyzer. All right, so we have these points. 236, then we have another one at 371. 967. 
3K and almost 4K. Now, there's a reason for these, which I'm going to get into in my next video, which is going to be a lot like my version 6 video, the top 10 features of Vienna Ensemble Pro 7 and how to use them. And notice that the EQ plugins have the EQ curve drawn into the interface. That's excellent. Uh, let's take a look at the Analyzer Pro. So, uh, same thing here. You can group them together. You can hide the, the meters. However, you can set uh, the weighting and the slope. You can hold. You can have it fall off um, in a linear fashion or a Newton fashion. You can change the attack and release. You can have it show notes or graphs. There's a reference pitch, precision, and mode, analog or digital. Let's take a look at one preset. Oh, you can also copy presets. You have A and B, which is real common. Let's just take a look at one. And I'm going to use the note finder. Now, I don't have any signal coming through here, so you're not going to see anything here. But what happens is you have these bars that represent frequencies that the analyzer is hearing. And for the louder notes, it's showing the notes. So if 440 is coming up here and peaking, it's going to say A440 if the reference pitch is at 440. A4, 440. And by hovering over any bar, you can get its frequency. Some of the other plugins are a compressor, which is a really high quality compressor. And again, the presets are invaluable. Look what these presets are for. Solo strings, chamber strings, uh, just regular orchestral strings, larger, like romantic type strings, harps, woodwinds, brass, keyboards and mallets, percussion, plucked instruments. But these are great teaching tools. And these are excellent, excellent presets. So the Vienna Suite Pro plugins, it doesn't contain the hybrid reverb and the convolution reverb, but it contains just about everything else. There's also some surround plugins. I've used Vienna Suite for about five years and I still use it every single day. Great plugin suite. So let's take a look at pricing. The introductory offer lasts through May 16th, 2019. Now there's two offers. The upgrade price to Vienna Ensemble Pro 7 is currently 84 US dollars for the first license. And it includes Epic Orchestra 2.0 free of charge. If you need additional licenses for your slaves or servers, they're $50 each. So the model they used to have were you bought Vienna Ensemble Pro and you got three licenses has changed. You buy your first license and each additional license is $50. Okay, if you're getting a full purchase, if you're new to Vienna Ensemble Pro, the introductory price, including Epic Orchestra 2.0, is 162 US dollars. And additional licenses are available for 72 US dollars. As of the release of this video, there's only about a week left for this introductory offer. I'm not getting paid to make this video. I'm making it because a lot of people come to me through my videos to ask questions. And so Vienna Ensemble Pro is a big part of my life and my YouTube channel. And hopefully I showed you enough of it so you could get a good feel for what this is about. And now you have a good idea if you want to upgrade or not.
Like I said, I will be releasing a video about the top 10 features of Vena Ensemble Pro 7 and how to use them very soon, within a couple of weeks. So please subscribe, hit the notification button, and you will know when that video comes out. And there's going to be some other VSL-related videos, some really exciting stuff coming out of VSL. So you don't want to miss that. Feel free to comment or leave questions. If you're a follower of my channel, you know that I answer almost everything as time allows. I wanted to keep this short, so I'm going to cut it off now. And I will be talking to all you guys soon. And I look forward to sharing all the great VN Ensemble Pro 7 experiences with you guys and some of the great builds that will be coming up. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great week. Bye.